my testimony, I want to first of all say, I don't give testimonies to products because a lot of them don't work. So I don't find myself giving testimony. So, but I'm glad I ordered four bottles because the first bottle I used it in eight days. Um, I had like an immediate situation. So when I first took the drops, I immediately felt something moving my neck to the top part of my head because I started having these headaches regularly and I don't have headaches on a regular basis. So I felt that immediately. And the next thing I felt was my breathing. I have been having a problem breathing since the end of 2013. Um, when I was teaching at a school, I started having these um, problems where I just couldn't breathe. I, I found myself gaining weight, but I was having issues breathing as well. So that's, that's been going on for over two and a half years, and it was just really hard. I couldn't walk a half a block. I had to find myself stopping, and I feel like I'm a little young for this to be happening to me. So this was kind of like just, to me, it was devastating because I've always been pretty athletic. I can do things. I'm pretty, you know, flexible. But when I found myself losing my mobility and my flexibility and having shortness of breath and couldn't walk, that really bothered me. And I was like, Lord, I repent because I'm just, I'm taking, it, I'm taking for granted being able to have these abilities and that you've given me. So when I took the O2 drops and I realized, like, I had this immediate result, I'm like, this stuff really worked. It, it, this really worked for real. So oxygen, trace minerals really does have a place in our body, and we really do need this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't deal with shortness of breath now. I still have a little palpitation, but a lot of that has left. I can walk in, I can walk more than a half a block before I, I don't have to stop and rest anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I can walk up the stairs without shortness of breath. I don't have to work, feel like I'm finna lose my breath, I'm finna pass out. Mm -hmm. And that's something major for me. So yeah. um, next I started using it in my eyes because I was on the call with Boomy and they was like, somebody use it in their eyes. I'm like, well, I want to try that too because I had just made a mistake and put something else in my eyes and go to the hospital when I was out of town. So I was kind of hesitant to put this in my eyes. I put it in my eyes and I'm like, because they had diagnosed me with press biopia. And um, they said it's age related. And I'm like, oh, really? Uh, and then they, they um, said I had dry eyes. I was in the process of getting ready to go to Canada to, so they could do something with the follicles of my eyes and unclog them. Mm. Well, I put the O2 drops in my eyes, and I have been able to see. I don't have to. They gave me these little glasses. I don't have to. I haven't, been, I haven't worn my glasses in about oh, well, three weeks. Mm. And I started using this on June 4th. Mm. Mm. June 4th. I used my first bottle, like I said, eight days. I'm on my second bottle now, and I'm glad I bought four. All right. <laughs> awesome girl. Hi. 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 My name is Ms. Ella. People call me Ella. I'm going to try to keep my testimony, which, like the other young lady, I don't do very much either, encapsulated into this particular issue that I started using O2 for. My friend Jesse and I have a bit of the same problem. We lost our sense of smell. Mm. And I listened to all those testimonies she told me to listen to. I didn't really want to hear it. <laughs> but I've been re-educated about two years ago on using natural remedies. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here now, but on a different product. So we have to re-educate yourself mm -hmm. using natural remedies. So when she said her sense of smell was coming back, I said, what, how? Because hers had been going for 13 years. Mm. I lost mine about a year and a half ago from taking from letting them give me, I think, really too many antibiotics on a very bad problem I had in the hospital. No anger, because I was in such pain, it was at a level nine. And they got rid of that. Well, I didn't really realize I lost my sense of smell until I started going with a friend of mine to look at some things for graduation for our door, and I started smelling everything in this beautiful perfume shop. I couldn't smell anything. And I realized, wow, I can't smell anything. And I started backtracking. Moving on forward, I told her about this. I started encountering so many people, other ladies. Oh, I lost my sense of smell way back then, way back. And they were all around my age, 60 and older. Went online. The first thing it says online, if you lost your sense of smell, you're going to die real soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what it says that. So, I, then I started reading further because I'm a positive person. Uh, you know, I, I know to re-educate myself and use some other supplements, and that's why I'm here, but on a different theme. I'm talking about this, a lady who was 70 said that she got a sense of smell back a year and about two years. Well, mine has only been gone now for about a year. So I started using what she said, the O2, 
because I was already using the lemon drops and everything that YouTube said you should use, <laughs> the Indian um, home remedies, peppermint. It didn't really work for me. I started using her old too. She gave me her summer's bottle, which is a half a bottle. And immediately, <laughs> immediately, mm -hmm. I was able to sniff some things. Mm. Went down in our basement, which is bad, in my apartment building, and I smelled the stuff. Wow. And it lingered. Before it wouldn't linger. Mm. I was smelling a little bit, it would go away. But this time it lingered. So I still didn't really want to give it any credit. I'm still a, a, a skeptic, even though I know herbal stuff works. That's why I'm here. So been using now for almost three weeks, Jesse. I think it's yeah. three weeks. And my neighbors smoke. I'd go to the back porch. I would smell the smoke. It would be gone when I was using the peppermint and the other stuff. But this time I smelled the smoke till cook that darn camera stick. <laughs> <laughs> they know me. We know me. We talk. <laughs> and um, then the whole time the cigarette smoke was there, I could still smell it. A few seconds going over and over and over. So I said, all right, this, this, it may be working. Went back in the house to do a few things. I needed to change the cat litter box. Smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> mask on. Man, uh, did the whole dump it in there again. And I came back. This is about three minutes later. Never happened before. I can smell. I got some perfume that I don't use because I can't smell the stuff. I can smell it. Mm. I got so excited. I called Jesse and I told her, Jesse, on your website, that's no one to talk about. They got their sister smell back. This is really great, girl. Yeah. We got to do something about this. So I don't give testimonials. Really, but I want everyone to know about this and to consider using their herbal remedies. Mm -hmm. They're natural for us. And you mentioned not saying anything about curing. So I hope you can put this on and air it well. And last <laughs> night, the other night, I did become a. Um, Yes, that's right. Thank you. That's right. Awesome.